And by the way, the weather's not stopping Pink from performing at Nationals <laughs> Park. By the way, thousands of Pink fans are there for her summer carnival concert series. I believe we have this live look at the entrance there outside of Nats Park, but I can tell you if we don't have it, doors for that show opened roughly 30 minutes ago, so they're still moving forward with this, at least right now. That's right. It's going to be a memorable show <laughs> once folks get there and the storm moves out. Earlier, the stadium tweeted the show is rain or shine, and that, of course, uh, crews will continue to assess the weather throughout the day. For a lot of pink fans weren't really happy to hear that they wanted the show to be completely canceled. Mm. And so you're taking a look at some of those tweets, a lot of them from earlier today. Folks not happy about the show being canceled, but how do you how do you get ready for a concert? And you're looking at this, these images here and you're wondering, do I do I go? It? You invested all of this. Do you chance it? Is well, it worth it? You know, I think Nats Park is uh, paying very close attention to the moving conditions and trying to keep folks safe. Yeah, our Melissa Kim is live at Nats Park right now with a look at those conditions. And uh, Melissa, are you seeing folks showing up there for the concert? Uh, what does it look like in your area right now there in Nats Park? Yeah, you know, guys, I've been here all morning and afternoon, and people seem to be largely unbothered by the weather situation. I want you to take a look at what's happening right now. This is the general admission entrance here that you're looking at, along with all these people that are underneath this wooden awning outside a restaurant here. And, uh, you know, some of them started lining up as early as 1 o'clock to get the wristbands, which were available at 2.30. And as you mentioned, the gates here opened around 4.30 as scheduled. And as we know right now, as of right now, the show is still going on as scheduled, uh, according to that tweet earlier they're going to continue to monitor the situation here and you know like I just said, the, all the people that I've talked to today generally seem to think that this is going to be fine, that the concert will go on. Pink known for a lot of her acrobatic acts and skills during these concerts, so it's going to be interesting to see what happens during the actual show today. But, uh, you know, fans we spoke with, they just really didn't seem too worried. They say they'll deal with those elements as we hear rumble of thunder here right now as these elements come. We'll make it work. They'll make it work. They, they say rain or shine, but there is also a tornado. We'll hide, and then we'll play her music, and then we'll chant her on, and then we'll just hang around until she leaves. I talked to them. They said uh, they have the equipment that, you know, they could still do all their stuff. Uh, I asked them about the thunderstorms. They said they weren't sure, but we went and bought ponchos here at the park because everywhere's out, and then some little umbrellas. And I have been speaking with Live Nation and Nationals Park officials all day. They both directed me to that recent tweet that you saw earlier from Nationals Park saying that they're going to continue to monitor the situation. It did get overcast about an hour ago here. The rain started to fall about, oh, I'd say like 20 minutes, half an hour ago. But again, you can see people are still out walking in the rain, enjoying, I think, the brief reprise from the humidity and heat that we saw here all day today. And again, the show is expected to start at 6.30. Pat Benatar opening for Pink here at Nationals Park tonight, guys. I see oh. the folks walking behind you. They had their ponchos at least. Everybody else is just, you know, taking a, taking a big risk, just seeing what we get. By the way, I was at yeah. the Beyonce concert yesterday yep. at FedEx Field, and mm -hmm. it wasn't pretty. Oh, no, we know you were there. <laughs> we know, though. Some of us had to work, but, you know, uh, but it you were there. But for an hour and a half, you had to shelter in place, and it was humid. It was hot in the concourse. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, the show went on later on in the night, went on much later than, than it was supposed to, but you know, getting to that point was a little rough, a little scary as well. Right. I think folks now anticipate, um, especially after looking at what happened with Beyonce, that there is going to be a delay, but right. let's just kind of ride th ride it through and be as safe as possible and, and hopefully end the night with, um, you know, some memories. Okay.